Hello fellow accountants, welcome to learning at igcseaccounts.com. Please do visit our website at www.igcseaccounts.com. If you go to the notes section you'll find the notes that go along with this tutorial and the easiest way to follow the tutorial is to right click over the button that says notes click here and download it onto your desktop. Which... My name is Dino Hoss and today we are going to be looking at the accounting equation. The accounting equation is assets is equal to capital plus liabilities. In other words the resources used by the business to operate have to have been paid for either by money invested by the owner in the form of capital or money borrowed from outside the business. The accounting equation always holds true. The reason for this is that assets have to have been paid for either by the owners in the form of capital or by borrowing the money in the form of a liability from outside the business. So the two liabilities that are very, very common are creditors, which basically means the suppliers that provide us with our toy trains and allow us to pay at a later date. Also, of course, the bank will lend us money, providing they feel that we can pay them back with interest. So if we took an example of a business that had $10,000 in its bank account as an asset or a resource to buy and sell items, it had a delivery van that was valued at $5,000, plus it had debtors, in other words customers who still owed us $2,500 for items that they bought from our shop but uh, will pay at a later date, then we can see clearly here the resources used by the business, the assets in other words, are valued at $17,500. Well to pay for those resources the money must have been financed by either the money invested by the owner, which in this case is $15,000, or the money's come from the creditors who have allowed us to take toy trains to sell in our shop and pay us or pay them back at a later date. Alternatively, it could be that some of the money we used to finance those resources was um, obtained, if you like, from a loan that the bank provided. Now the accounting equation assets is equal to capital plus liabilities must hold true because we can clearly see that the assets of $17,500 which are used as resources by the business have been paid for either by the owner, the creditors or the loan that was agreed with the bank. When we add up the 15000 the one and a half, and the 1000 we find that the assets is indeed equal to the capital plus the liabilities. Therefore we can say that the accounting equation holds true because all the resources that are paid for by the business are funded either from the owner of the business who in this case has invested $15,000 or the money has come from the creditors or the bank loan. Thanks for listening. Remember, you can play games, download handouts, pass papers and answers at www.igcseaccounts.com. If you found this tutorial useful, then please do wait around for the next tutorial to load up on our playlist. If you're studying A-level or AS-level accounts, you can find our sister website at www.alevelaccounts.weebly.com.